Hello Slayer folks, welcome or welcome back. Today we're reacting to episode 15 of Queer as Folk. Last episode shook me to my core. R.I.P. George, that hot little kiss between Brian and Michael, whole Ben sleeping with Brian in the past. It was a lot. This show is, stop. I can't, every, I can't start every episode with that, like embarrassing. But so good. I love this so much. Debbie had her little date with... What's his weird name? I hate his name. Horhath. Ugh. Carl. Carl, I think his name is. We're gonna call him Carl. Yeah, I can't remember with Mel and Lindsay how their, like, school journey ended with Gus. Actually, no. Didn't we get... I'm in the middle of editing that episode, so I'm a little blurred right now. But anyways, um... If you'd like to watch the uncut reaction, check out my Patreon, link will be below. Check out my YouTube memberships too. Would love to do a monthly live stream where we can talk about the show because I'm obsessed. But yeah, no one's joined that yet, so TBD. But yeah, if you prefer the YouTube edit, I appreciate you guys so much. Now let's get into it. One, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, six, shake a dude. One day I'm gonna get that. Uns, 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 uns. Meanwhile at Babylon. Uns, 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 uns. This is always meanwhile at Babylon. What do we mean? Ooh, this is a new little edit. Hey boys, having fun tonight. Oh, cool. What does Justin's shirt say? Oh my god, are they gonna collab on his comic and his illustrations? Breakfast included. These shirts are great. Like, am I allowed to make my own shirts or is that like copyright? Because that would be great merch. <laughs> That's dope. But he does need a superpower. You wouldn't be a superhero without one. Dematerializer. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. <laughs> what you girls are giggly about. Aw. Uh. The nominations for the Gay Porn Awards were just announced. It gets with being recognized for his outstanding achievement. Please be you. Other than Jerk It Works' very own Fetch Dixon. Uh. Hell yeah. Yes, oh my hey, god, that's, that's do we even him, know so about it? Emmett. I'm to be recognized for your hard work. Uh, he can really use it. He's so hot. Stop. Has been nominated for the coveted. Oh, the picture with him. As internet newcomer of the year. I wonder if Emmett's gonna get any of his assets. It's not every day that someone gets nominated for a crystal dick. That's huge. Suppose. Read the room, babe. Read the room. I'll He's so bad at reading the room. Us. He doesn't even care to read the room. Do you mind? I'm trying to have a conversation with your boyfriend. After they killed off Captain Astro. People have been coming into my comic book store looking He's for a gay superhero. He's gonna be the place, one. Doesn't exist. <gasps> Why wait for someone else to create him? Why don't we just create him ourselves? Guys, I mean, me girl, and girl. Michael are like really clicking these days because I'm writing my own novella, which is like a short novel. It might be a novel, but I'm thinking it's going to be a novella. And I did it because I wanted to make a gay superhero. This is crazy. And so oh, like, aligned. Why not? Like, there's like, gay books, superheroes, but not books, really so starring a gay superhero. I could come up with a million stories, except I can't draw for shit. You can. This is everything. Would be kind of cool. Amazing. Brian, you know this is a good idea. Yeah. Finally, you two boys will have something in common besides me. Um, what a relief not to be the center of everyone's universe. <laughs> This is the best show ever. That's it. <laughs> I love an attic. My new studio. <gasps> the sink, the shelves. Is that a skylight? It'll give the place a nice light airy feel, don't you think? I think it'll give our bank account a nice light airy feel too. I've priced all the materials. <gasps> Whoa. Did I say my space. theory yet of Lita and Lindsay potentially being a thing? I feel like I must have said that. Oh, I'm so scared for that to happen, if it's right. That leather jacket's so cool. Well, I guess it's ten, but then they always say to double it. That's a sizable chunk of change. Too sizable. I hate that uh, saying for some reason. A chunk of change. Yeah. We couldn't possibly ask that. 
Who's asking? I'm offering. It just so happens the dykes I'm house-sitting for are back from their cleansing in India, and I'm gonna need a place <sighs> to crash. And in exchange, you get your studio. Oh, shit. I think I'm right. I already see where this is going. I'd like, to be able to like it for myself. Mel's not gonna be so supportive. Lita's gonna be very supportive. And then they're gonna have a moment. How about this? A young scientist is doing an experiment in radiation when he gets bit by a radioactive bug? Yeah. That's Spider-Man. Oh. I'd be doing that, too. Ugh. I'm writing a gay vampire okay, slayer. He is sent to Earth by his parents when he's just a baby. Right before Juan, sorry, I feel like this is annoying, but my main channel, I'm starting my booktube, author tube journey. Follow me there for updates on my book, my first debut novel. Right before his planet explodes. Superman. When he gets here, he discovers he has all these superpowers. You gotta be kidding me. It'll come to us, I know. You just gotta take from multiple people and then make up your own lore. I'm gonna be hitting the treadmill after this. This just inspired me. Oh my god, is he the muse? You have to be your standard superhero steroid. It's his mind that makes him sexy. It's his fierce individualism. That gives him courage. What if his disguise is that he's a cold-hearted ad exec by day? Defender of queers by night. <laughs> All we need is a name. Okay. Brain Kenny is the muse. I'm obsessed. Fucking piece of shit. The Fury? Pissed off. <laughs> Rage. Genius. Oh my god, that's everything. I was Josh Safdie's muse when he wrote Uncut Gems. Do you know what I mean? Like, things like that. I was kind of hoping to uh, take a little something to remember him by. His snuggly old red cardigan. Go get Mr. Shiggle's sweater. He is definitely written in the will. If that's not a part of this, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm so sorry. Imagine. And if she knows it. Instead of making the funeral into a mournful occasion, we... Celebrated the life. Celebration of our loved one's life. Oh, that's very sweet, but really it's not necessary. Why are you here? It's necessary for me. Well, unfortunately, there won't be time. There'll be many prominent speakers. Uh, Take I it. Iconic. Along with your memories. <laughs> what a... Ooh, that was something real there. She is real. She is human. This is... I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Our guy's gay. He lives in a gay world. He has gay set. And with his superpowers, plenty of it. So what kind of story? Tell me. The story I was thinking about, but never mind. Oh, come on, tell me. I was thinking Rage could save this kid's life after he's bashed. <gasps> See, I told you it was a dumb idea. I never should have brought it up. I, I am obsessed. I mean, it's awfully personal. I have That's chills. That's how it usually is. Exactly. Oh I my god. It and it could be how Rage meets the love of his life. I thought Rage didn't believe in love. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I honestly have an idea. I feel like I might have said it in like the first few episodes. I would love to make a vampiric queer as folk and like kind of base You're it up. off them. Look again. Brian it's Kenny is so vampire coded. And the stuff we came up with Don't amazing. steal my it's idea, bitches. I mean, I'm kind of doing it already, actually. But I mean, like, so full on gay. Come over here. Oh, is he liking the passion he's seeing? This is so depressing. I got ghosted again. He found my channel and unfollowed me. What? Put Justin on and unmatched me. He didn't find it. I gave it to him. I just got this idea and I couldn't wait. Night and night, Mikey. That was important. So is this. This actor, Randall, is so lucky. I cannot wait to watch that, like, reunion they had a couple of years ago. I can't wait, wait to watch all the special features. I think I'm going to make it, like, a Patreon exclusive and, like, react to it for Fenzies. Oh, my God. The topping was everything as well. Every touch. Every kiss. Mm. When you're alone in the evening. Can always go downtown. Uh, uh, downtown. I can, and it's so simple. You just need a few tools. And Before YouTube. Yes. I know mine is. And most Brian to the rescue, Mr. Rage himself. See how easy this is? I told you we don't need Lita. Hey, the Lita, hey. Do I detect a note of jealousy? Of Lita? No. <laughs> don't 
be ridiculous. It's so we can do it ourselves. Oh God. <laughs> Thanks, bitch. Um, I I'd like to say something. Hell yeah. So friends and family only. I am a friend. I'm more than a friend. Let go of me. Okay, all right, let's take That is crazy, bitch. Third song. He doesn't speak at all. I hope he has like his own ceremony. Wait until he finds out he's a muse. Has anyone seen my fing floor? Uh oh, don't get him mad. I will admit his telekinetic death stare makes me <laughs> Guess I'll never get to say my speech now. You say it to me. And me. I'll listen. More hey, than just a comic book. He's a writer too. I can't believe how much I'm relating to this show right now. It's nothing as sexual as the act of creation. When, I, when I'm writing and it's, it's pouring out of me, I swear to God, I'm like completely turned on. Sometimes I even get a hard on. Me when I was writing my sex scene, by the way. Installing your new sink will be a snap. Everything with this bitch is a snap. We've already attached it to the wall. It's a snap. Come on in. Am I the only one that forgot the kissing rule? Who didn't forget? Rise and shine, sunshine. What? I never ever thought of this for a split second. Party's over. Bye guys. Fuck. Just get out, okay? Go! Daddy's angry. Alright, chill. Mr. Rage in action. What the f is going on that's not happening is he gonna pee on it I thought you were Brian. Oh, and the bees. Yeah. I'm gonna call them the bees. Brian? Who's this left on the couch? I love that little platform. Michael? <gasps> I forgot about this. That's so fucked up, you drunk Shit. ass. But it's so funny that it's like, he's the character, literally. Did you do this? How dare you piss on our work? Well, don't just sit there. Say something. Say you're sorry. One last thing. You're the one who's pathetic. Give me a minute between rounds, then you can have a go at me. I'm sorry to disagree with you, kid. Labia. Because you're jealous. Jealous is for lesbians. Well, then you better start liking Because if you didn't love them as much as you do, you wouldn't give a shit. What you don't get is that they feel the same way about you, even more so. I would love a scene where... They worship the ground you walk on, or can't you see it? You're their... Oh, my God. At least you were. You're the muse, babe. I'd love a scene of him breaking down crying, like totally unrelated to this, and Debbie comforting him. That would be the best. In the I got you. I gave myself chills. The pickles. The possible newcomer of the year. Pickle? Did you hear what I just said? Celebrate what? That I whacked off on your website? You made a lot of people happy, especially George. You found George. I was going to say that. If you win, I'll accept your crystal. George would want you to go. Everything on your computer, otherwise we'd really be. Yeah, now we just have to reprint everything on another couple hundred dollars worth of inkjet paper. Hi. I'll send Brian the bill. <laughs> well, we did kind of exclude it. We were working in his place, in his face. Last night we even wound up in his bed. Don't tell me you're gonna forgive him. Functional history, you put up with anything. Glutton for punishment eventually gets his fill. Fooling myself, thinking he loves me. He does love you. Well, at least now we know what Rage's fatal weakness is. It isn't kryptonite. Love is it? Ladies and gentlemen, Fetch Dixon. That's amazing. To be holding a crystal dick. Uh, accepting for him tonight uh, because. Ah, there he is. Because without you, Ted Schmidt, I, I would never be here tonight. I have chilled over this award and job. I never would have met the most wonderful man I've ever known 
Oh my god, George Shickle. You know it. Um, I uh, think I'd get a chance to read it. Right. Oh my god, this is amazing. Loving, affectionate, uh, a boy at heart who just wanted to love another boy. Uh, I was lucky enough to be that boy. What he gave me was so much more. He made me feel like I was somebody. I love you, Georgie. What we had for a few short months was more than most people have in a lifetime. Damn. Thank you. Obviously, I'm one bowl of chills. Ball. Balls. That was really cool as a, in a writing I'm glad sense. You two dames finally came to your senses. And this is a bad idea. <laughs> okay, we know. We really screwed up. It's not too late. So how long do you think it'll take to undo the damage? Depends on the triangle of expectation. Hmm? Right. I could see a threesome moment even. Uh, not to worry, ladies. You won't even know I'm here. Oh. Good night. Sugar lips. Here we go. The beginning of the end. Hey, how grateful I am you're doing this. Happy I am you're here. You and me both. Otherwise, I'd be sleeping in the park. Mid, I had my reservations. Mm-hmm. I know. Mel loves you very much. Thanks. She's not who I'm worried about. This quickly? Get up the steps. <laughs> Back. Don't step on anything. What's going on? I read your shit. It's fucking good. And the artwork is... A1. You owe us an apology. So start begging. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's not good enough. Yes, what the fuck do you want me to do? Grovel? Mean it! He does. What I did was immature, based on irrational fears and unfounded jealousy. Oh. If I were the two of you, I'd never speak to me again. That's better. It's really good. <laughs> it's for you when you're shameless and unapologetic. It's called toxicity. Oh, I'm a superhero, for Christ's sakes. And when you're done, I'll put together a marketing campaign. The teamwork uh, dream work of the century. You want me to? Absolutely. You're fucking the muse. Deal. 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 So where did we leave off? Obsessed. <laughs> Good. Sexy motherfucker. Right. You know, Zephyr can have sex once in a while, too. <laughs> oh, so the way the beginning started makes so much sense with, like, the comic look. I feel like it could look more like Brian. Another one for the books. Great episode. This show really aligning with me is starting to freak me out. I started watching this when I was 29. They turned 30. I'm 30. Going on 31 already. Oh my god. I believe this month it's been a year since I started reacting to this show. Holy shit. I gotta... Well, I don't wanna slow down, but I'm, I'm surprised I'm not further along in a year or I don't know whatever it's just so weird like I'm truly on my writer journey my booktube on my main channel I'm literally creating my own gay superhero and like my whole purpose is that there's not more or to any to my knowledge there's definitely not any mainstream where a gay character is the superhero instead of just the side character or like the side superhero so this is just so ahead of its time yet again i called it with the male thing i mean the Lindsay thing i mean don't tell me because we don't it's i know what's gonna happen but oh we got no debbie and carl her Horror path, which is fine. We'll get back to that. Yeah, I'm, I'm so into this writing storyline. I love it so much. And now, like, Brian being, like, the publisher, like, them three working together. Oh, they're gonna be so happy. I'm gonna be so proud when the book comes out, the comic book. Oh my god, and he has a comic shop. Like, it is so perfect. And I wonder, Ben's a writer. I like how Michael's doing his own thing, but it's even cool, I guess, like Ben inspired Michael to write his own, right? Like it's just, it's so, from the creative writer perspective of the actual writers of the show, like it's just so detailed, so planned, and I'm just so 
obsessed and I can't wait to see where the show goes. All right, guys, I appreciate you all so freaking much. You guys are so nice to me. <laughs> and I hope to see you guys on the next one and the next one and the next one. It's Billy Bitch. <laughs>